Uh, my name's Kevin Jansen. And I'm Mira Borstel. My name's Leslie. I'm a volunteer bushfirefighter here at the Wuralu Volunteer Bushfire Brigade. My name is Yvonne Chow. I'm the uh, group leader and treasurer of the first Mandaring Scout group. So I'm Beck, writer and volunteer here, and I'm also the president of Hills Group. I'm Jenny Curl. Uh, I belong to the Glen Forest Community Garden. We're part of the Panthers Basketball Club and we're a um, local hills sporting club. So we're a volunteer bushfire brigade, so when there is a fire in the local area, um, people will rec report it on triple zero and then we will get a call out and then we'll wait for other um, volunteer members to, to, uh, to come to the brigade and then we'll go off to assist um, either with career firefighters or with other bushfire brigades in the local area. My job is to ensure that everybody our group follows the policies and rules of Scouts WA and the Mon first Mandaring Scout group is over 100 years old and we have all the Scout sessions like Joey's Cups, Scout Rovers and Adventurers and Rovers. We're here to grow food, all kinds of plants, herbs, flowers, to encourage um, gardening and food production in the local community. I've been um, associated with the Panthers for about eight years now. Um, and I've been associated for probably five as a player and three as a volunteer. So I've been a member now for 12 years and this is my first year as captain of, of the brigade. I have been officially uh, involved with the group for over seven years. I've been involved for probably ten years. Uh, we've been on the ground here working for seven and we had quite a few years before that actually working to get the group set up. Between the clubs there's just over probably over 60 volunteers, active um, volunteers within the club and I guess without them we wouldn't we exist. We wouldn't exist at all, at all. They, uh, they really are the backbone of this club wouldn't be here without them. We have approximately 17 active members um, and we certainly um, couldn't exist um, without them. They're a big part of um, who we are and if we don't have volunteers then we don't have a brigade. And we certainly wouldn't exist without volunteers, we're all volunteers. Uh, we've probably got sort of 10 to 14 people that we see on a fairly regular basis who come and help with the gardening but we've got a much bigger group that will come along for events and, and extra activities that we run. I sort of came involved when my son started playing basketball for the club and um, they needed um, managers to assist at the time so um, I sort of jumped in to, to help and then um, been, been involved ever since and that was yeah, about eight, eight years ago. Um, and I started because I had an injury that meant I couldn't play anymore um, and I still wanted to be a part, part of the club and the sport that I love. So when one of the um, ladies in the club said they were looking for volunteers to coach, I put my hand up and that was three years ago now. You know why I'm vo volunteering is because I want to use my skills to contribute to the community. So I became involved in the brigade um, because I actually live in the area, not very far from here, but I also live opposite a bush reserve. Um, and so being able to be part of the community with um, fighting fires meant that I would feel supported um, if the bush opposite my house um, comes under threat. I firstly started because I had a school project and then it just, I kind of just wanted to keep doing it because it was fun and I liked being involved. I would tell people if they wanted to be volunteer, the one thing I want to say to them is, you're going to have fun. Just give it a go. Um, get over whatever apprehensions you might have about it. Um, you will get so much more out of, um, out of what you give them into the team. You'll get a lot more back out. Yeah, 100%. Just do it. It's um, a great feeling being able to help others and watch other people um, achieve their goals and that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, it's an awesome feeling being able to be a part of that. I think I would say come down and meet everybody in your local brigade, wherever you are, um, and get a feel for the place and what we do. Um, and just have a go. There's no obligation. Um, there's no need to sign on the dotted line and commit yourself forever. Um, just have a go and, you know, step out there and support those who support you when we need to. Oh, I just think it's a wonderful way to meet other like-minded people. It gives you a bit of a focus. I love seeing the change that it makes to the kids. Seeing the smile on their face every week and they can come after school having a bad day and just seeing how they change throughout the session and they can leave really happy. 
you know, by volunteer, by volunteering, not only that, you know, you contribute to the community, you get to meet new people, you help the young people to unleash their potentials, and then at the same time, you get to strengthen your social connection.